What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on NXT TakeOver 25. So far the match card looks pretty interesting and as you guys know, over the past few years NXT has been doing great things and for me, I am highly interested in them and I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing moving forward. It's so much better than way back whenever they started NXT when it was a contestant show. They've come a long way. So with that being said, earlier in 2019, there was a lot of NXT call-ups to the main roster who, in my opinion, have been doing great things, but I expect to see them a lot more in championship matches and rivalries on the main roster. But it's really exciting to see them get it pushed. So now that they are no longer in NXT and they've been pushed onto the main roster, for those that are still on NXT to see that they're actually using them the way that they should be and giving them opportunities, I'm really interested in what is going to happen next for them. So as usual, I have all of the matches right in front of me. Let's get right into this. Up first is Matt Riddle versus Roderick Strong. This match is the newest one that was added. And the reason for that is because there was a huge attack on the last NXT event. So they decided to make this match, which to me, I think it was awesome because every other member of the Undisputed Era had a match except for Roderick Strong. So it makes sense to have him have a match, even though it is a one-on-one -on -one against Matt Riddle. To me, it's very interesting. For this one here, I don't know if I've mentioned this before because I've never done an NXT a pay-per-view prediction video but for me I'm not sold on Matt Riddle yet he's slowly growing on me but I'm still not interested in the character if that makes sense it's just to me it's a little bit too much MMA even though I am interested in Brock Lesnar a little bit not these days because he always holds the championship hostage and now money in the bank briefcase but I used to like Brock Lesnar I do like Ronda Rousey however Matt Riddle I'm not really sold on him yet it's just to me the bro gimmick is a little bit corny maybe that's just me I know a lot of people are a fan of him but for me I don't know if I'm going to predict him for winning it. It is something that since he's faced that it could potentially happen. But my prediction for this match, because I do like Roderick Strong and I do like Undisputed Era, I'm going to choose Roderick Strong to beat Matt Riddle. That's my final prediction for this match. Next up is the NXT North American Championship. Tyler Breeze versus Velveteen Dream. This match for me is one that I really wanted to happen and it was recently added as well. Tyler Breeze, as you guys know, way back when he was part of NXT, and I think him and Finn Balor fought for the NXT Championship back whenever they both were first on NXT. Tyler Breeze then got moved up to the main roster and later teamed up with Fandango, but since Fandango is out on injury right now, they need something for Tyler Breeze to do, and since he's an amazing athlete, at least in my opinion, it made sense to push him down. Now, in my opinion, putting a person from the main roster back down to NXT when they were already called up years ago, to me it can be considered as a slap in the face, and maybe that's what he's thinking, but to get a championship opportunity whenever he's going down and having a great roster and great chemistry, and to me he's great in the ring, whenever he first was called up it didn't make sense, but the fact that he is doing great things whenever he was with Fandango as the tag team, it was pretty cool, but now that it's uh, Fandango is injured it makes sense to push him down so he still has stuff to do so this match here makes total sense to me I am a fan of Velveteen Dream I do like what he does I love his gimmick it's grown on me over the past few years uh, maybe a year now but I do think that Velveteen Dream may retain the championship however to me it makes more sense to have Tyler Breeze win the championship that'd be his first WWE uh, solo championship that he's held. I don't actually think Tyler Breeze has held any championship, maybe a tag team championship that I'm forgetting, but it'd be his first solo, ch solo championship that he's won in WWE. So that'd be awesome to give him that opportunity because over the past few years, he's been tag team only. To have him do something as a solo competitor makes sense. So my prediction for this match is going to be that Tyler Breeze is going to win the NXT North American Championship. Now, that's not to say that Velveteen won't win it back. I think that's something that's going to happen in the future because this rivalry after this match, I don't think it's going to be over. I think it is going to continue, and that's going to be exciting to see if Velveteen Dream can become a two-time NXT champion. Uh, sorry, NXT North American champion, but I do wish that Tyler Breeze were to win that this match, so that's my final prediction for this match. Next is the vacant NXT Tag Team Championship match. It's going to be a Fatal 4-Way ladder match. 
We have the Street Prophets versus Forgetting Forgotten Sons versus Loken and Danny, who I'm not 100% familiar with, versus Undisputed Era. This one here for me, Street Profits, they've been growing on me recently and I'm very interested in them. But as I've already mentioned in this video, Undisputed Era is even more interesting to me. They're more appealing to me. But Undisputed Era, in my opinion, are going to win this match. That's my prediction. I think it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, I would hope that the Street Profits finally get an opportunity for the titles uh, and actually hold them. Now, it's not to say that they're going to hold them for long because I think they need to still grow their character, even though I'm a fan of them. I think there's a lot more developmental stuff that can be done with them. But if they do happen to win the championship, that'd be awesome too. But I don't think they're going to hold it long. And I think Undisputed Era is going to capture it from them eventually. So again, my prediction is the Undisputed Era are going to win the vacant NXT Tag Team Championships at TakeOver 25. The next match is the NXT Women's Championship match. We have Shayna Baszler versus Io Shiria. I probably butchered that because I'm not 100% familiar with her. I haven't been really watching any of her matches or anything. So this one here, since I know Shayna, it is obvious for me since it's MMA and that's what she her character is. She's more of an MMA style wrestler, which I absolutely love other than Matt Riddle. Like I already said, I'm not a huge fan of his. But for this one here, I think Shayna is going to retain the NXT Women's Championship. I think that was going to happen regardless of who she was facing. But it is going to be interesting to see if that actually happens. So that's my final prediction for this match. And the last match is the NXT Championship match. We have Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano. This match happened already for the championship because... Uh, it was a vacant NXT championship. So these two people already fought for this championship before. Johnny Gargano won, obviously. And now Adam Cole is getting an another opportunity for the title. I personally think Adam Cole should have gotten more opportunities for the NXT title before now. Because he's hell of a competitor, in my opinion. He's hell of a wrestler. But it's going to be interesting to see if now is his opportunity. If he loses this match, I don't necessarily know if he'll get another one right off the bat. Maybe down the line, closer to, I don't know, SummerSlam. Maybe he'll get an opportunity for the NXT Championship again. But as of right now, I think it's if he loses this match, he's not going to get one for a while. But with that being said, Johnny Gargano is a new champion. Personally, I think Johnny Gargano is going to retain just because that would make sense for his gimmick, his whole everything in NXT Johnny champion right now. It makes sense for him to retain a little bit longer. And maybe whenever the former champion comes back from injury, he'll have a match against Johnny Gargano. That would be interesting to see if that were to actually happen for the championship. But I do really want Adam Cole to be a champion. And I would be happy if he were to win the NXT championship in this match. And if Undisputed Era won the tag team championship. And if Roderick Strong were to beat Matt Riddle to have all of Undisputed Era win their matches for this pay-per-view. In my opinion, it would be very impressive and very awesome to see. So my prediction is going to be, unfortunately, Johnny Gargano winning because... That's the only logical thing I think is going to actually happen. Since he only won it not too long ago, I think he's going to retain it in this match. I really wish that all und all of Undisputed Era were to win their matches because I'd be awesome and amped for that if that was actually to happen. So we shall see. I'm happy with it, with it going either way, but I had to make the final prediction Johnny Gargano because that makes the most logic for me. Even though I want all of Undisputed Era to win their matches... I think Johnny Gargano is going to lose the championship yet. So this is my predictions for NXT TakeOver 25. This is my thoughts on the pay-per-view and what I think is going to happen. Hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below who you think is going to win at NXT TakeOver 25. Are you excited to see what happens next for the NXT superstars? Let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.